Today we have a $1,700 office chair, $800, $1,800 office chair. Anything worth the price. Um, this one comes with massaging capabilities. It comes with uh, like leather, a whole bunch of things. So uh, yeah, let's cut into it. $2,000, what does that get you in terms of a chair? Uh, let's see, get you a instruction manual. That's a plus. Actually on nice paper too. I mean, if you were paying $2,000, I certainly hope it does. Um, it says fragile, so you flip it upside down like this. My gosh, a $2,000 chair. Well, there's a charger brick for it, because you know you need to charge your chair. So there you go. Let's open up the, uh, the next part of it. And here is the bottom part. A solid chrome slash metal piece and wheels. Uh, 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 let's see. So this is what a almost $2,000 office chair looks like. It's $1,800 plus tax, which probably ends up being closer to $1,900 and something and some change. So I'll say $2,000 for the sake of this video. Let's talk about a couple things. First off, as you can see, this chair has this cowhide leather and it was only a $100 option. So uh, I'm not going to bash too much on the fact of poor financial decisions uh, by getting cowhide leather. In comparison to the price, this chair's base price is like $1,500. So you've got a chair pretty much that has a price tag that high. Um, the main feature I wanna talk about though is the vibration feature, the massage feature. Having a background in doing electrical engineering, specifically one of my grad projects this semester is with vibration motors and we are you know making a device with them uh, this is feels like they took a bunch of the dollar vibration motors strapped them to the back they just turn them on at occasional frequencies um, one of the biggest frustrations i had with this is that besides you know the whole fact that it's just a bunch of vibration motors on the back the places that i wanted to specifically target like i don't need the head to be vibrating i just like you know the back and maybe the you know the butt to be at least you know, vibrating. Uh, I don't need the head because that gives me a headache. Well, there wasn't really any option to be able to do that. This feels more gimmicky than it does a massage chair. Um, when I think of a massage chair, I'm thinking of something that's, you know, got maybe some kneading going on um, instead of just a bunch of like vibration motors strapped on the back because frankly, there is a lot of vibration motor chairs that are like $400 that are on Amazon, why would you want to spend, you know, this much? Like, yes, it's nice material. Sure. You know, do you really need, I don't know, this kind of a statement? Heck, there are even massage, like actual dedicated, like sit in massage chairs with the kneading that were like $600, $700. I saw the highest one I saw was like $1,600 on Amazon. You could get your own full out massage chair for this. And I think that like, I struggle to find who this is for because if you want a nice looking office chair, I, I won't lie, this looks like a great office chair. It looks very professional, you know, very, very cool. But the fact is, if you're gonna be sitting in meetings all day, the vibration sounds are loud enough that they come through a microphone. This is me sitting in the chair and I'm just gonna go through and show you some something. So I can turn this on and this is what I mean that like you're hearing this not only does it feel like a heartbeat, but you're not going to actually be able to have this on in any meeting. If I put this at the lowest setting, that's still audible. Oh, also, just real quick, the cord that comes with this is ridiculously small and pretty much unusable. You have to literally be next to something in order to actually use this cord. Like, 
I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna hold back any punches. If you're spending $2,000 on a chair, don't cut costs on the cord. Like, look at this. Like, look at this. This is not a bad product by any means. I mean, I don't know how I feel about having leather here. Like, if there was a place to put wood or something, so it's not gonna get completely torn up. I mean, this is the Habda chair that I got a couple weeks ago. Um, it's literally a like ergonomic chair. It's not anything fancy. The materials aren't like super crazy by any means, but like this is like a 500, I think it's a $400 chair. And like, would I ever spend $400? No, but this is a lot. And by, I can't understate, a lot more comfortable than the office chair you saw that's $2,000. I know it doesn't look the same, but it at least feels nice. And if you're gonna be at home all day, what really matters to you? Like I also struggle with the at more and more people being at home, working from home. Uh, why do they need these chairs? Um, more and more people are working from home, um, especially if you're high enough up where it matters what chair you have. Uh, you are less likely to be in the office working anyway. All the upper managements at any large company are pretty much already working from home. You don't need to drop $2,000 on an office chair when you have really no one to show it to. Who are you going to show? Your meetings? Like, come on. Because I feel like you could get like a nice looking chair and a flat out like dedicated massage chair for the same price. Like two, there's two things for the price of this. And I'm... Sorry if I'm the one that's doing this video saying that I don't feel that a anybody should spend $2,000 on any chair. It's definitely, in my opinion, not worth the $2,000. There's not anything here that makes this a $2,000 chair. I want you guys to know by posting this video, I am likely burning this bridge from this free product. And good or bad, it is my obligation to share that with you.